You take some cheese, you put it between two pieces of bread, and you grill each side until the cheese melts in the middle. That is the grilled cheese sandwich, and it's huge all around the world. Every region seems to have some version of a cheese sandwich. But I gotta say, in the US, that shit is bumping off big time. There's food trucks that are solely focused on the grilled cheese sandwich. Two blocks down from me, there's a restaurant that's serving up just grilled cheese sandwiches. But that's the cool part about a sandwich where the base is so good because you can add so many fun things. You can make it as gourmet as you want, add some funky ingredients, which is what we're gonna do in this video. We're gonna take the grilled cheese sandwich and we're gonna up the ante with three easy steps. We got the bacon, onion, jam, we've got your herb butter, and we've got some special cheese going in the middle. We'll get started off with the bacon, onion, jam, which is pretty game-changing on any sandwich. I had it on a burger the other day and it took it to the next level, but it works great on grilled cheese. To start it off, just get some bacon slices rendering off in a pan. I chopped them in half because they're eventually gonna go back on the sandwich, and that way I could fit a few more in the pan. And then while that's rendering, you're gonna start slicing your onions. I like using the trusty mandolin for something like this because it's so quick and you can get them really thin, but of course you can use a knife. Once your bacon is rendered just like that, that is the perfect crispiness. Take the bacon out and keep the fat, which is very important because that's where we're infusing the bacon flavor into our jam. Slide in your onions and start to caramelize them. Keep your heat on like a medium low and just slowly start to bring out the sugars. It's gonna take some time, but you don't wanna turn it up too high. We're not looking to get too much color here. So this is about 10 minutes right here, which is a perfect time to start adding other ingredients, other flavorings. I added a little bit of thyme, which is fantastic with onions, a great herb to go with onions. And then I also added a little bit of brown sugar to bring the caramelization to the next level, add a little more sweetness, and then balsamic, which is another delicious ingredient that works great with onions. And that really just rounds it out, gives a little vinegar bite, and just cook that for another 10 minutes until you start getting something that looks like this. The onions are really broken down, everything's really sweet. Taste it, add your seasonings, your salt and pepper, whatever it needs, and then jar that up. We're moving on to the herb butter. This is where I feel the sandwich takes a turn for the best. We're gonna make an herb butter or a compound butter, a lot of people will call it basically just taking a butter and adding a few ingredients to make it a little better. I took some room temperature butter and I actually added a little bit of olive oil to it, which is a great technique. It basically takes your butter when you spread it on your sandwich and makes it more resistant to burning because butter burns very easily. You'll see some people sometimes use mayo on their sandwich, which is a high oil content, but something to make your butter more resistant to the burning. Then I chopped up a bunch of parsley, added that, crushed in some garlic right through the garlic press so it's nice and fine, and then added a little bit of salt and pepper. Threw that in the fridge to firm up, and we're moving on to our cheese, the classic American grilled cheese. You got your Kraft Singles, you peel it straight out of the plastic wrap. We're screwing that cheese, and we're gonna do a nice blend of cheddar and Gouda. Two beautiful melting cheeses. The flavor's gonna be great together. So I took the blocks and I just grated them up and did a little mixture here. To actually bring this puppy together, I got a pan on medium heat and I drizzled down some olive oil and I put the first side of the bread down on that and got that a little bit crispy, which is really important because we're gonna take the compound butter and spread it on the other side. So when we flip that over, we've got two crispy sides going now. On one side, you got your delicious bacon jam. You spread that down, add those bacon strips right on top. On the other side, you got your tomatoes and your cheese. And just cover that with a lid to start the melting process. And then once it starts melting, take the lid off. Close up your sandwich. Take a cast iron pan or something heavy 
really push down on your sandwich to get the ooeyness you're looking for. Everything's gonna combine. The cheese is gonna infuse into all your ingredients. And then flip that over, do the same thing on the other side. Right when that sandwich is looking like perfection, right at this point, you take it out, you slice it in half, and you enjoy.